Peggy 18. It's easy to look at something like Saints Row and go and think, oh God, they're just, they're just doing whatever. What's the appropriate level of crazy for a certain thing? The amount of discussions that we have about seemingly innocuous things are really weird. And like, it, it takes a lot of work to make something this beautifully stupid. Thank you, I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. Without Saints Row 1 and 2, there'd be no Saints Row 3. Without Saints Row 3, there'd never be a Saints Row 4. And so we have to go and respect that. There needs to be a dialogue between us and the people who love what, what we do. My name is Mike Watson. I own IdleNinja.com. I've been doing mods for the franchise uh, since Saints Row 2 for PC. So Steve uh, called Mike up on the phone and asked him to come out and try out the game. Leave it to the Saints! Brought to you by Friendly Fire, the only shot... It hasn't felt real to me until now. And then later I followed up with Steve about the stuff that he was doing with, with modding and basically said, you know, could we get in touch with some people from Volition? So we came up with uh, Kinsey's Toy Box for the SR3 uh, modding S SDK that we're building. And now there's, there's a, a, some dedicated guys who are trying to go and help support that modding community and giving them what they want. We're working on this in our spare time, even though we have lots of other things to do. And the reason we're doing this is people out in the modding community, they're developers too. And it would be crazy for us not to give them tools to be able to follow their passion. We absolutely cannot wait to start getting the first releases out where people can start modding weapons, changing clothes, changing characters, putting their own face and their own ideas onto our game, and really taking Saints Row and making it the, the ultimate expression of customization. This isn't me. Shandy, are you okay? This is getting weird. There's kind of a little bit of a holy war that um, happened after Saints Row 3 came out. There's some people who really love Saints Row 3. And there's some people who really love Saints Row 2. And Saints Row 4 is kind of our attempt to go and bring these people together into one big happy Saints Row family. I love Saints Row 2 on a level far beyond any other game. He felt that the franchise forgot about him because I was with you guys for the first two games. And then he went so far in this other direction in Saints Row 3. And he's like, you know, maybe, maybe the game is just not for me anymore. You can never go and feel disappointment if you never loved something. And so that's why Saints Row 4, we really took this approach of it being like a love song to our fans. It started off a little slow, and I think part of that was, you know, I was looking at a lot of unfinished assets, unfinished cutscenes. But once I got past a certain point in the story where I started being able to change weapon skins before they started getting more of the superpowers, that's when it became something really special. Over the course of three days, it was interesting seeing him go from being trepidatious to being interested to loving it. There's just so much great stuff in this game that I didn't expect. A lot of the open world takes place in this virtual recreation of Steelport, which has been great because you kind of have a sense of familiarity, but we also knew we wanted to go and feel different. Because of superpowers, that's exactly what happens. You experience the city in a very different way. I mean, we have structures changed, we add these massive alien towers that you can climb up, but the biggest thing is that because you are leaping over buildings, the whole vertical element of it has redefined everything about the city. Because that was like the most fun I've ever had playing a Saints Row game or any superhero game. Got what we got, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? If we know that people like certain things, we should celebrate that and give them more options. We know people wanted more customization options. Let's let them customize weapons. Because all the weapons in 4 are just um, like crazy amazing. Shouldn't have fucked with the president! So whether you're a fan of Saints Row 2 or Saints Row 3, you're really going to be in for a surprise. We have uh, Johnny Gat. Will not be a Saints Row game without Johnny Gat. Benjamin King from Saints Row 1 as your chief of staff. We have a lot of the old favorites from Saints Row 3. You know, Kinsey, Pierce, Shondi, other Shondi. It really feels like a, a celebration of the entire Saints Row franchise instead of just a continuation of Saints Row 3. I feel like Steelport's actually part of the Saints Row universe. And like, now that I feel that way, I feel better about the new characters. Obviously every game we want to bring more people and we want more people to go and experience the game than the previous one. But it's also so important that we never forget the people that stuck with us this entire time because that's why we got to be where we are.